Hey friends, welcome back to the channel, Kyle here. And today is a very special day as today we have an incredible guest. Today we have a competitor, so I'm not gonna delay any further. I wanna welcome you to the World Barista Champion. Hey y'all. Wrong competitor. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Bora Mum. I'm the 2023 World Barista Champion uh, from Brazil. Truly happy to be here today, this morning with Kyle. I've been competing since 2019. We run a full-on uh, vertically integrated coffee company back in Brazil with my family. Uh, my father is a coffee producer. Now uh, we began producing coffee back in 2012 and we have multiple farms today. One amazing farm in South of Minas and the other one in uh, Espiritu Santo. And then in, back in 2016, we started uh, the cafes and the roastery uh, together with my brother, who's also the Brazilian Brewers Champion, and he was placed number three in the, in the world this year as well. It's an amazing opportunity for us to be traveling around the globe and showcasing a little bit of the coffees that we produce back in Brazil and pushing uh, forward how high-end and high specialty Brazilian coffees can bring new flavors and, and exciting new experiences. I'm very excited to be here showcasing a little bit of what we do. So what we want to do today is we're going to do how to brew espresso like a world barista champion yep. because I don't know how to brew espresso. So <laughs> what we're going to do is I'm going to get you to teach me or all those watching right now how to brew espresso and your top three tips okay. for brewing espresso for the home. Fantastic. So we have two pieces of equipment here. We have uh, the Lily Bianca, and then we have a conical grinder over here. And this is an unreleased grinder called the Mix Cool Aries. This is an interesting grinder. So you've never used this. No. Nope. You've never used this. No. Nope. So you're dialing in a coffee. You've never tried this coffee. Yeah. And so uh, you are gonna dial this in for the first time. Okay. So walk us through it. Yeah, of course. It's really important to get coffee well sourced from well-known producers and also well-known importers like Ford Coffee who has been working with us in North America for uh, quite a while. I'm happy to be trying this amazing anaerobic geisha from Peru. So yeah, the number one tip is getting a good raw material, which is the coffee itself. Some of the tips that we give out for home brewers in espresso is starting with a very consistent recipe. So I'm gonna start here with 20 grams in. Just to start by testing the grind setting. This is a new piece of equipment, but I think some uh, home brewers, sometimes they get caught up in the espresso equipment, the, this machine especially, and all these different accessories. But I think the number one uh, piece of equipment that you should really invest on, really uh, get to know the best way possible is the grinder. So we'll start uh, testing the current grind settings here and see how the shot goes. That's really cool that it has a, uh, Already built in dosing cup into this. Okay, I guess that's done. That was pretty quick. So I think consistency of, of movement and especially like distribution is also a very important skill to obtain. This kind of needle is really nice to break out the clumps and redistribute well. Do a little tamping here. I'm gonna start with 20 grams in, 40 grams to just start the shot, see what it tastes like. Looks like extraction's pretty good, no channeling. Or first, uh, yeah. First shot. <laughs> Came a little shorter than out. There's some pretty nice florals to it. Bit of a high acidity. Um, but we can definitely balance that out through the recipe. Mm. Uh, honestly, it's really good already. <laughs> so continuing, I think it's really important to be very patient and understanding that uh, espresso is truly a, an amazing ritual for you to have at home and, and pacing yourself and tasting uh, different shots and understanding what's happening with the coffees. Having that amount of patience and understanding that espresso will truly bring out all the best qualities in the coffee. And I think that's truly important to understand when you're playing around with espresso. Ideally, when you're adjusting uh, espresso extraction is you try to keep uh, all the variables the same and start by changing one small thing. So the biggest thing I'm gonna change for this one is I'm gonna pull a slightly longer shot just to try to balance that acidity out. There's a ton of sweetness. I, I tasted a lot of florals, a lot of uh, nice cranberry, like juicy fruit. It's already in this uh, extraction. So I think we'll have an even better result on the next one. 
So we pulled out a pretty short shot initially. So I'm gonna do a slightly longer one. I'm gonna go up to 45, 46 out, maintaining 20 grams in. 29 second shot, yep, 46. 46. Oh, yep. And it was a 20 gram dose? 20 gram dose, Perfect. that's correct. That was really good. Uh, it was tasting amazing, actually. Um, second shot, well done. Second shot, not bad, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it, it's really ideal for you to uh, start in small uh, increments, uh, changing one variable at a time. Uh, maybe the, the recipe yield was not the fix for this coffee. It would have been uh, a different grind setting, but keeping that consistency in terms of uh, how many grams you put in, how much yield you're putting out, and, and really writing down those notes and, and really analyzing the shot itself. Each time, it's really ideal for you to uh, get your espresso well dialed in, especially like when you're investing in really nice beans. Uh, you really want to take your time uh, to develop your skill uh, as dialing espressos at home um, and tasting as much different things as possible to, to bring your palate up to par and understanding how great espresso at home can be. I think tip number three obviously is the equipment. It, as you have seen, the equipment make, made such a huge <laughs> difference for me today. I, I would say the grinder is probably the most important piece of equipment you will need uh, when dialing espresso at home. And the most important thing is for you to uh, try as many different things as possible, uh, not only at home, but at your favorite cafe and really reach out to the barista where it, who's serving you coffee in, in your local uh, cafe. Uh, there's a lot of tips and a lot of ideas that you can exchange with a, a barista who's experienced in working at the bar and really bringing out the best uh, of espresso is truly uh, more of an art form. The more you invest in your palate and your experience tasting these espressos, the better it will get with time. Well, Aborum, thank you so much. And this is quite a treat for us in our little roastery here to have you visiting. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you can walk away from this video uh, having a better understanding of brewing espresso at home. And, and now everybody will be able to brew espresso like the world barista champ. So I guess watch out for next year. We're gonna have a, a lot more world competitors. But thank you guys so much for watching. I wanna give a huge shout out to obviously uh, Borum, but also Forward and Cole who made this happen uh, today. And we just wanna thank you guys so much for watching. So please, before you go, leave a comment down below saying, thanks Borum. And uh, we'll be reading every single one of those comments down below. If you have any questions, please leave them down below as well. We'll be reading every single one of those. If you wanna check out more or learn more about Borum and, and his family, uh, we'll leave that down in the description below. Please tamp that like button on the way out if you would. Again, thank you so much, Borum. It's thank been you, an Tom. honor and a privilege. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys all in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.